I would like to give you some good insights on how to start your preparation and also how to tackle the problems in a most efficient way. It's a national level examination, of course, which you know. And with this examination, so let's say if you write gate examination, you can actually apply. See, qualifying gate do not guarantee any of this. Eligibility criteria. So who all can write gate examination? Hello all, I hope all of you are doing well and I welcome you all back onto this channel. So in this particular video, I'm going to give a quick and of course a short in detailed description on how to prepare for GATE 2026 examination. So after being qualified GATE for around 8 times and with the best rank of All India 4, I, I had enough experience with playing with, with the GATE examination. And in this particular video, since GATE 2026 is something which is like around one uh, one year four months around down the line so i would like to give you some good insights on how to start your preparation and also how to tackle the problems in a most efficient way okay so of course first thing there could be many newcomers onto this channel so first of all i would like to give you a quick update on what's the history of gate examination and what are the advantages you can get get of what are the opportunities you can bag in by writing the gate examination okay so let us start with that first so this is a quick overview like gate was incepted in 1961 of course you know down many uh, years back so there were continuous reforms that were taking place down the line okay so like you can see in 1961 it got started okay it was first introduced by iits and iisc and then it, in 1984, it was taken over by the National Coordination Board and over the years, 20, 2003, okay, again, certain reforms and right now in 2024 and 25, which is the upcoming year, like 20, GATE 2025, we have the GATE examination being organized by IIT Roorkee actually, okay. So every year, GATE is organized by one of the eight institutions like the IISC and the old five IITs and IIT Gauhati and also IIT Roorkee. So these eight institutes uh, together will actually conduct the gate examination and there will be one institute which will be organizing the gate every year okay so it back it started back in 1961 and now why one has to write this examination okay so one important thing is out of 100 percent the code reality is only around 18 to 19 percent of the students qualify gate examination every year okay so by the time you go somewhere to some campus interviews or you know any undertakings public sector undertakings and all if you are a gate qualified candidate that tells you that you are already in the top 18 percent of the nation okay so that's how gate definitely provides you a very good opportunity and a very good platforms initially okay so what all can you gain by writing a gate examination okay so you can see it's a national level examination of course which you know and with this examination so let's say if you write gate examination you can actually apply see qualifying gate do not guarantee any of this okay like it's not like a guaranteed admission but you will be eligible to apply for all these programs what i'm going to show you right now okay so pg admissions so many of you might have got a dream that uh, like many of you have had a dream of getting into IITs uh, and IISC basically for your BTECs or bachelors, but because of some reasons it might not have happened. Okay, but in right now, once you write gate examination, you will be able to apply for all the master programs at this admission uh, at these institutes. Okay, like the Indian Institute of Science, IIT Madras, and of course I have pasted only these two because these are uh, these are the NIF one and uh, NIF one again in universities uh, ranking and all IITs and NITs. So in every IIT and NIT, every PG program is offered based on this. Uh, of course, again in the branch in the disciplines of engineering, science, and technologies, the admissions are offered based on the GATE examination score. And the very good thing about this is GATE score validity is three years. Okay, like if you for example write GATE 2026. Okay, with that score, you can take admissions in 2026. 2027 and also in 2028 actually here okay and also 2020 uh 2026 gate examination yeah of course by the time of admissions of 2029 ultimately three years will finish so 2026 2027 and also 2028 admissions can be taken up using gate score okay in all these institutions and you know these are the top-notch institutions in the world uh, i mean in india and of course yeah why not in the world definitely and jobs in public sector undertaking so many of you might plan for a job even immediately after btec and Nowadays, if you look at the situation of, uh, you know, the recession, it's it's very peaking, to be frank, okay? So, public sector undertakings are certain things which are partially or fully controlled by government of India. And they, like, for example, you see HPCL, Hindustan Petroleum Corporation Limited, previously I worked there. So, Indian Oil, so again, you know, you'll see these are the oil and these are the power sectors, Nuclear Power Corporation of India. And TPC, of course, due to space limitation, I have put only four logos here, but there are around some 50 to 50 plus 
uh, 60 plus 60 plus PSUs, which recruit based on your gate examination score. Okay, means they'll call you for the interviews based on the gate examination score, and then it's your job to crack the interview. And if you prepare thoroughly for this gate examination, 100%, it's quite possible you will easily ace the interview. Okay, and of course, departments and autonomous bodies like BRC, I was previously enrolled here. So, Baba Atomic Research Center and of course DRDO, Defense Research and Development Organization. And if so, sometimes it's partially conducting through GATE and sometimes it's not, uh, it's conducting its own separate test, ISRO. Okay. But BRC has two uh, distinct channels. One is through the GATE examination. So, if you write GATE examination well, you can apply for BRC. Or secondly, if you write the written test which is conducted by BRC, okay, there are two screening channels for the same. Post again, scientific officer C. Okay, so for which I got selected some three years down the line. So these are the departments which actually recruit, and of course, many ministries nowadays are floating advertisements based on gate score. Okay, with a valid gate score, you can actually apply for many other ministries, uh, like Ministry of, for example, Defense, Ministry of Telecommunications, okay, and Ministry of, uh, you know, Roads and Transport, because in for civil engineers doing the highway constructions and all their recruiting. So there are plenty of opportunities if you had gate examination, and you see all these are managed by government of India, either these institutions or these public sector undertakings or this you know uh, autonomous boards are basically uh, departments are under the control of government of india actually okay so if you get placed in any one of this ultimately once you go for this central institutions like iisc iits and of course nits you can get a very good placement at the end of the final, uh, two years of course okay because you know the first priority that all the institutions all the companies at least the taiwan companies come to is basically these colleges okay so please make sure this if you give a gate attempt, then you have all these advantages. Also, one advantage which I did not mention here is if you qualify gate with a good score, then it helps you in your campus placements because the rigorous study you go through all the concepts for clearing gate examination will definitely help you in any campus placement or any other exams that you write in your uh, career. Okay, so. Anyway, this is a quick update. So, what are the advantages of writing gate examination? I just quickly uh, repeat. It's PG admissions in the top institutions in India. And of course, jobs in public sector undertakings and also departments. And not only this, very few foreign universities. Like for example, in Germany, if you see, like for mechanical Germany is very uh, a good destiny. And Germany has this RWTH Aachen. Okay, or else... Yeah, RWTH Aachen is a uh, very nice university. Again, TUM, Technical University of Munich. These two are very nice places. Like they stand in the top 100 in the world QS rankings. So this, it, these universities are offering admission again based on the GATE score. Okay. So also if you have NTU and NUS, National University of Singapore, NUS, and also NTU, Nanyang Technological University, again in Singapore. So these two are also offering admissions for masters based on your GATE score. Okay. So there are enough, uh, I mean, like, not very expanded as of now, but there are opportunities for performing uh, for pursuing higher education at these institutes outside India. Okay, so that's why GATE is on an average if you take an engineering student. So for an engineering student, qualifying GATE examination is a like very uh, a very mandatory kind of thing. Basically, if one wants to go up the ladder. Okay, so let's see. I would like to just give you some key insights. Eligibility criteria. So who all can write GATE examination? Okay, so you can see. GATE is open to third year students. So let's say, for example, if you want to write GATE 2026, then if you are in second year right now, okay, second year of your bachelor's, then by next year, you'll be in third year. And when GATE 2026 application comes next year, since you'll be in third year, you can write GATE examination, okay? Means for writing GATE 2026 examination, either you should be second year or above that, okay? So like you might be right now in third year, then by next year, you'll be in final year, okay? Or if you're in final year, by next year, you'll be a graduate. So definitely you can write GATE examination. So GATE is open to third year, final year, and final year undergraduate students, and also graduates in engineering, technology, and science disciplines. So if you can, if you are in third year, you can write GATE examination. If you're in final year, also you can write your GATE examination. And once you're passed out, you can write as many times as you want, okay? And then registration. So how to register for this examination? Right now for GATE 2025, the portal is open, okay? So I would like to just mention that so that to some of you, it would be helpful. Portal open for GATE 2025 as of now, okay? And for GATE 2026, by next year, they'll again launch the website for GATE 2026 and they'll talk about the registration process and all, okay? Then important timelines, if you see, the website launch generally happens in August, okay? Uh, around the second, uh, third week of August and application portal starts opening in the September. So right now, you know, it's, it's September and the application 
for gate 2025 is open as of now okay i have made a similar video on this channel how to fill the gate application form detailed step by step so if some of you are planning to write gate 2025 there is an application form video so that you can look at that and fill your application okay and also exam generally happens in the february the uh, next year of course okay so right now for gate 2025 the application got floated in 2024 september so once you fill this application form you will be able to write gate 2025 in february uh, month actually okay so it happens generally on the weekends so that it don't clash with any of the examination schedules or something okay so these are the timelines so this is a quick update of the gate examination okay and normally the type of questions that comes in gate examination are uh, of three types you know like the multiple choice questions numerical answer type questions and msqs multiple select questions which many of you might have gone through these kind of questions during your uh, je mains or, or else uh, je, je mains examination okay so whatever these are the eligibility criteria and the people who can write the gate exam gate examination okay so now let us go to quickly on gate 2026 okay so what are the advantages of starting early so you see importance of early preparation so ultimately rather than starting two three days before or two three five two three months before the examination it's always better to start a bit early actually okay so once you start early preparation definitely you will find enough time so ultimately for work you need time okay to working upon your weakness to work upon your weak subjects you need time actually okay so once you start this preparation early okay at 2020 for 2026 it's almost like one year five months you have down the line so if you start the preparation now you will have enough time to go through each and every concept of gate 2025 easily i mean gate 2026 very easily okay so that you can cover the 100 percent syllabus and in fact you can have multiple revisions for doing the gate 2026 preparation okay second since you have enough time you won't be making messy schedules like let's say it's not like okay there is only four months so i have to study two subjects today no it's not like that okay so today you can study some part of a, a particular subject okay so you can look at each and every concept very detailedly and you have time and once you are doing this process consistently daily with small good set of goals then ultimately it boosts your confidence because once you are thorough with the concept and you solve all the previous year questions okay or the practice problems in that particular topics then it creates a lot of motivation for you and also a strong uh, you know confidence for you to proceed further to the next topics okay and so that's the advantage you have enough time ample amount of time so once you start preparing with the things then you can uh, go away in a very well way okay and also how to start okay how to make this comprehensive study plan i'd like just to give you so start with basic subjects so if you take any engineering gate paper okay or if you take any gate paper definitely have engineering mathematics as one of the subject okay and normally when you start your btech before teaching you the technical subjects they would have definitely taught you engineering maths okay so because ultimately without maths you can't ace much in the technical subjects so once you start preparation for gate 2025 or gate 2026 so please start with your engineering mathematics okay so once you are thorough with the concepts of engineering maths then the technical subjects becomes very easy for you okay you can understand the technical subjects much easily okay and let's see you can start with engineering maths and the subjects which comes in your first year and second year okay like i'll tell you one thing guys if you look at the paper pattern in 2021 till that till 2021 you don't have the option for uh, you know the third year students writing gate examination okay so only final year students could write gate exam at that point of time but in 2021 when iit bombay has organized gate examination it made a reform that third year students can also write gate examination so from that point if you correctly analyze the paper every year almost around 80 to 85 percent of the questions come from first two uh, first year second year and third year syllabus actually okay so if you are thorough with the first three years of the syllabus okay not to the very applied subjects then you will be easily able to write 80 to 85 percent of the questions very happily and if you can answer 80 to 85 percent of the questions very thoroughly in gate examination you can easily end up with below 100 all india rank okay because you know Many people, because of lacking in concepts, they were not able to write well in gate examination nowadays. But in reality, if you can get 80 to 85 percent of the questions correct, okay, in gate examination, you could easily fall below 50 or below 100 uh, with very ease, okay. So, second, set realistic goals because sometimes what happens in life, you'll get demotivated and suddenly you find some motivational video on YouTube channel or wherever. Suddenly you get motivated and feel like, okay, today I'll study for 19 hours. Today I'll study for 20 hours. No, this is not a very good thing to do because you know if you take if you stand here then going consistently to a higher spot is very easy okay so this path is always easy then suddenly you are staying flat then getting motivated then again flat then you know having going in this path is very difficult okay so definitely your consistency will definitely play a very important role and every day please try to make a habit of writing and reading something so that once you start reading you can sit for long hours like three to four hours very 
easily with full focus mind actually okay so that's why this set realistic goals okay and also plan your schedule very wisely like allocate time for example let's say you're a college going student okay so generally in the evenings after you come back from the college okay let's say you you travel to a bus or hectic traffic then it's not very much feasible for you to study okay so whether sleep nights early okay uh, sleep early at the nights and also wake up early in the mornings okay so that it could definitely benefit you and also it, it it creates a daily routine which makes you towards the goal okay move towards the goal so allocate your time wisely of course okay so these three things are very important the first thing being starting with the basic subjects so once the subjects basic subjects understanding is very clear then moving towards the little advanced subjects which you start studying from second year okay and the third year so you can go in this particular way and also setting the realistic timelines and also proper uh, proper time allotment is also very important okay so first you can start with engineering uh, maths okay which is like the common subject then you can start with the basic subjects in your branch like for example in mechanical you have subjects like engineering mechanics okay strength of materials then uh, once engineering mechanics is done you can go for fluid mechanics or basic thermodynamics similarly material science so these are the fundamental subjects okay you can start with them same is the pattern to the civil okay so and similarly ec and computer science you can also start with your basic subjects which you see in the first first semester of second year and second semester of second year with these kind of subjects actually okay so let's see if you look at the timeline right now from now you have approximately 510 days okay because gate examination happens every year around february first weekend and second weekend but in 2025 you do some clash it's happening in first and third weekends but on an average you have 510 days and imagine studying four to six hours per day in the first one year and then in the next one year if you study for around six to eight hours it's like a very what consolidated schedule where you can study almost every concept in the syllabus okay and at this point by that time you finish four to six hours a day for the first uh, six months actually you will be in a proper rhythm and track to study the things and then after you can see for one year you can maintain that pace then ultimately nobody is going to stop you from getting succeeded in gate examination the reason is because i'm telling this after qualifying it eight times okay so gate is a very simple exam to be frank okay if you only thing you should do is you should learn the concepts very thoroughly and also you should go to all the previous year questions very effectively if these two can be done very uh, keenly then you can easily uh, you know qual beyond qualifying gate examination you can get a very good rank in gate examination okay so this is the quick update i thought of giving about the gate 2026 because it's a very nice time to start preparation for gate 2026 okay because many of your colleges will not have any exams in this september or october in general the semester will be in november or december generally so it's a very nice time basically to start your gate preparation if you are in second year or third year at least okay so you can start with the basic subjects and then start the flow and coming to resources we have lot of content which is floating for you on the youtube channel okay nowadays on the gatewala english and also gatewala uh, the subject wise channels mechanical ec channels and all so almost it's like everything is available at the content wise so please do study well okay use your time effectively and so with that i will take a quick break from you so if things are fine next time we'll again meet soon uh, within next one two months again by telling by checking the status and to i'll give you some more advices which which could be very helpful to you at uh, in your journey of preparation okay so thank you all we'll meet soon on this channel again take care